I'll pull this apart and show you guys how to install. This bumper, you're gonna get a center piece, you're gonna get two outer pieces and then two mounting pieces, a left and right of each. And then the center piece, you're only gonna get one, so you won't get a left and right. Hardware that's gonna be included are M8 by 25 flange nuts, M8 serrated flange nuts to mount your side flaps to the center piece to your mounting brackets. So to get started on your car, you will mount this toe bracket to where the factory toe point is that you screw in and you pull off that little orange flap. You'll grab your supplied M16 bolt. You'll slide your lock washer on first and then your washer. And then once this is in the car, you'll push it through some foam and then this will get bolted through there and then that will get mounted to the car. Once you got the left and right mounted up like that, you will continue to mount the centerpiece to the mounting points of the car that you just installed. So there's two holes right here. You grab your two M8s that go through here like so. You grab your mounting, your mounting bracket will already be on the car, so it won't move, so you'll have to move the centerpiece, like so. And then once you got that, like that on the car, you're gonna wanna mount your side brackets. Like that. And you're gonna wanna mount up your nuts. And I'll show you that on the car also. With these bolts, you will need a either a 24 millimeter socket or you will need a 516 socket. To start this install off, you're gonna to wanna to take off these covers, left and right. You do that with a screwdriver, a little pry slot at the bottom. Now, right in these guys, there is a threaded hole that you will install your brackets into. You're gonna take this bracket, and you're gonna mount it into the passenger side like so. You're gonna want this L bracket right here facing outward. And then you're gonna want this bottom piece right here, this flat piece, facing down. So this signifies that it is the passenger side. You're gonna wanna grab your 24 millimeter socket, short socket, and then your supplied M16 bolt. Stick it through like so. Kind of watch where the hole is while you feed it through. You're gonna to wanna to hand thread this in a little ways so it gets snug so you're not cross threading any threads. Once that side's in there, doesn't need to be tight yet. You grab the driver's side bracket. Again, the L would be facing outward towards the driver's side and then the flat bracket would be down. Once you get a finger tight, you want to take your half inch wrench, snug it down, but don't tighten it down all the way because you still want a little bit of play this way in order to get your center bracket on. Right there's probably good. I'm going to tighten up the passenger side. Once the passenger side is tight, you're gonna to wanna to take your bracket, run the, the bolt itself through here, and then through that bracket. Once you have that center bracket on, not completely bolted up yet, and you haven't tightened down those M16s, M16s that go in here, you take your nuts and you tighten down on the outside of these, 
on either side, both sides, this side and that side, and you mount the center bracket to the toe points. Once you do that, it will square up the toe points and then you'll tighten down the M16s. And I'll show you how to do that. Take your nuts. Because once you put on this side bracket, you won't have any access to get to here to tighten this down. So you're going to want to square everything up before you put on these side brackets. Thirteen millimeter socket. You don't need to cram them down too tight. You just need to get these brackets square with this. All right. Now that that's on there. You can see that there's still play in these bolts right here. You're going to want to tighten these guys down. If you want to reinstall them, you do not have to. You can cut your bracket about like so. Fit it back in here. And it looks like factory. Now, when you cut these, make sure you measure the hole and whatnot. Like so. Just give it a slot right here so it fits right over it. Snaps right in. Like factory. You're going to want it to look like that. Next step, you want to take off these nuts and then install the sidebars. Leave one side installed so this side doesn't move. Slide this on. There's two holes right there. Slide those over your bolts on the side. There, you want to slide this over. Without knocking them out and then you're going to want to fish these on the back side so in order to tighten those nuts up on this side through here you're going to want an extension and you're going to want a wobbly and then a long socket 13 Fish it through the bottom. Put your socket back out and then that side is installed. Let's move to the passenger side. I'm gonna take those nuts back off. Grab your side bracket. Your nuts. And then go get your extension, your wobbly, and your long socket. Your 13 millimeter long socket. Because all I'm going to do is install some Diode Dynamics SS5 pods. These mounts right here are pretty damn strong. But would not use them for anything more than what you use your factory one for. So keep that in mind when you're pulling on them. 